Last time we met, we talked about synthetic elements and how we're making elements in laboratories. And one of the things you could potentially ask is why are we doing that? Okay? Part of it's just fundamental research, just learning about nature. And uh, some of it is with the hopes of creating materials that have actual uses. And it turns out, I should have done this yesterday when we're not looking at it, it turns out you have, at least I hope you have, a synthetic element in your house. A Mariesium 241 is a synthetic man-made element that is found in smoke detectors. And the reason why it's uh, used in smoke detectors is that it is an alpha emitter. It emits alpha particles. Right? And so how a uh, smoke detector works, or at least how uh, these type of smoke detector works, is you've got your Ameri ECM-241, and it emits alpha particles. Now, alpha particles um, are, they have the highest ionizing power, so they're able to ionize molecules. Uh, but they're big and bulky. They're the biggest particle. Two protons, two neutrons, that's big for uh, radiation. Um, and so they don't travel very far. They're going to run into an air molecule almost immediately. Very short uh, distances they can travel without running into an air molecule. And when they run into um, air molecules like oxygen or nitrogen, they ionize those air molecules. Okay, so they make O2 minus or, or N2 minus. No, plus. It's going to take electron, sorry. All right, it takes an electron away from one of those molecules. So it ionizes the air. That's what it's doing. Then what you do is you set up some detector that's connected to your battery. Somehow, okay, that's your nine volt. It's always nine volts. I don't know why it's always nine volts. All right. And when those positively charged molecules hit this, you put a little bit of a negative bias on them to attract them, uh, the electrons from this battery will be uh, routed there. And as long as they go to that detector, as long as that alpha particles, or those alpha particles are ionizing the air, Everything's fine. The electrons are going to the detector. Everything's good. But what if there's a fire? Now it's getting suspenseful. Okay. Where there's fire, there's smoke. I don't think that's how you say it, but it works. Okay. Okay, then there's smoke. Okay. And just when you thought I couldn't draw. Very well, I'll do that. Amazing fire and smoke, it's so realistic. Should we run? All right. So what are smoke, what is smoke? It's just unburnt fuel, usually hydrocarbons, usually pretty big particles. And what happens is the alpha particles run into the smoke. And so the smoke blocks the alpha particles. And guess what? Then we're not gonna ionize any air and then those electrons aren't going to be attracted to the detector, they will be then attracted to the alarm. They go to the alarm and make that noise. Yes? And that's why when your battery runs out and the smoke detector it also goes off? Yes, that's probably true. There's In the circuit, if the electrons aren't going to the detector, some mechanism uh, makes a beep, annoyingly. Yep. All right, and so that is how smoke detector works. So um, there's one other type of detector or smoke alarm that uh, uh, you can also do it on light. Okay, so you can basically shine a light at that detector, and as long as that detector's uh, it, that would cause a photoelectric effect and kick off electrons. So as long as that light is hitting that detector, everything's fine. The smoke blocks the light. The electrons aren't kicked out anymore, suddenly the alarm goes off. Those are surprisingly inferior to this because they can be set off a lot easier. Um, they're much more sensitive. A lot more things will block light than the alpha particles. So if your smoke alarm goes off like every time you cook, all right, if you got one of those, it's probably a light-based one. If yours doesn't go off, you know, very often, hopefully never, uh, it's a meriesium. 
So let's write out the e nuclear equation, the balanced nuclear equation for americium alpha decay. So what we would do, okay, americium is going to be the parent isotope, americium 241. We need its atomic number. What's americium's atomic number? Ninety-five. Thank you. All right. So it emits an alpha particle. What was the atomic symbol for an alpha particle? An e. Well, the atomic symbol. We're going to need the atomic symbol. So it was alpha. This was the Greek symbol, alpha. The helium, it's a helium nucleus. That's why I always call it that. It's a helium nucleus. So you remember it's helium. We're going to use helium. Four, pro, four mass number, atomic number of two. Always helium, four, two. That's its atomic symbol. All right, so now we're going to try to figure out what the daughter isotope, what are we making in that uh, um, smoke detector of ours? Okay. So what plus 4 equals 241? 237. 237? What plus 2 equals 95? 93. So what element is that? NP. NP. Neptunium. Neptunium. So you've got some americium in your uh, smoke detector, and it's making neptunium. 